How you doing? This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. And before I get started, let me welcome my new subscribers, Power Wagon 1323, Patton 160, and Sisler TX. So I hope you appreciate my videos and like them. Let me fix this stupid thing. I gotta do something about this. Uh, there's a board there. It keeps uh, part of the desk. It keeps coming down. And um, I have a new channel, which is uh, Berg Unboxing, and I did three videos on that. So look for that. And my name is in the links. So not the links, but in the comments. The guy from Pittsburgh or George Sandy, you should be able to find it. I've got three videos so far, and as I get more and more stuff in the mail to use in my videos or books or whatever I'll unbox them or free samples and people can see them so and I got a damn mosquito flying around here it's been biting the hell out of me and I've tried to cap catch it several times I can't catch a damn thing well tonight I'm gonna talk uh, about ratty patty and this is how Kathy felt <laughs> <laughs> at 7 o'clock in the morning, for God's sakes. She's sound asleep. And my girlfriend, Kathy, lives about 20 miles from her, and we have no car. She has no car. I don't have a car to ride in. So, Patty, being the dummy that she is, calls Kathy up. Patty is Kathy's girlfriend. At 7 o'clock this morning, wakes her up out of a town sleep. Patty mumbles, Kathy, I mean, mumbles something. And Patty goes, I will use the internet to find you a car. Well, Patty's not the brightest bulb in the box. So Kathy mumbles and goes back to sleep. Patty calls back a few minutes later. I found you a car. They only want $500. Well, Kathy has seven fifty saved up. She'll have a thousand by June, twelve hundred and fifty by July. I'm giving her a little bit of money. So Kathy says, "Where there is the car?" And Patty goes, "It's in Minnesota." Now, Minnesota is nineteen hundred miles from here. It would take twenty nine hours to drive there one way, and. 90 gallons of gas. Now, my form administrator, Justin, the guy from Pittsburgh, Paranormal News Forum, News Forum, not you, sorry, lives in St. Paul right across the river from Minneapolis. He wouldn't do this. Kathy would never do this. I mean, it's insane. You're going to go get a crash mobile for 500 bucks by spending 500 bucks in gas? Or whatever the hell it is. Let's see. I think gas is like two fifty a gallon now. So that's actually about 200 bucks. But you'd have to stay in a hotel room. You're not going to drive straight through. And Patty has a car. But it's like a 1999 Toyota. It has no shocks. And here's the revelation that I want you to know. And people complain about me driving. I don't drive. I didn't drive our Prius. But three times. And once was in an emergency. Once for a short trip, and I can't remember the third. Patty has not only no suspended license, she doesn't have a driver's license at all. And yet she's driving Kathy around. It's crazy. So, you have Ratty Patty wanting to drive to Minnesota. They go to Minnesota to um, get a car when you've got $500 junk mobiles here. I've seen cars advertising Craigslist. They're crushed. They've got no engine, they need transmission, they need brakes. Everybody spells brake, by the way, B-R-E-A-K, <laughs> which amuses the hell out of me. Uh, parts cars that are way overpriced. Everybody thinks because it's a Toyota or a Honda, it's an expensive parts car when it should go for maybe $200, particularly if the whole front end is crushed or something. So this is the kind of garbage you see on Craigslist, but Patty thinks she can find a car. Now, I found the last six cars for Kathy on Craigslist. Three Priuses, two Saturns, and uh, another car we had. And I got a couple of cars, my Cadillac and my little, um, 
what is that thing? Pontiac Sunbird convertible, which I miss a lot. The two Saturns in the Pontiac, the head gaskets blue because they were aluminum block engines, and the GM cars were notorious for that, as was the Plymouth Reliant I had. The transmissions on Reliant and the Dodge Caravan vans would scrape off aluminum off the transmissions. You were constantly changing transmissions in those late 80s Plymouth and Dodges. So, um, ironically, the old Dodge Diplomat police car I had uh, ran great. It just sucked gas, and it, we couldn't get it to pass smog, but it ran. So, anyway, this is the latest craziness from Patty. Drive almost 2,000 miles to get a 500R beater car. <laughs> You can't make this stuff up, folks. It's insane. What? And this is the kind of craziness that my poor girlfriend has had to put up since high school because Patty will say something, and uh, uh, it's absolutely dumb. So, all right, this is the guy from Pittsburgh. I've got to go now and take a break, and then I'm going to do the video for George Nori, which will appear on Coast to Coast AM next Friday night, Friday the 13th. So have a good night, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.